Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. It is time for June home fragrance empties. That is right. We have a, we, we have a really big pile here. <laughs> there are a lot of candles. There are, um, by the way, the candles are burned to varying stages and then a lot of them did end up in my candle crock. Um, if you are new here, if this is your first home fragrance video with me, um, I'm going to direct you to the description box down below because that is going to have a couple of videos that might be helpful to you um, in case you have questions about what I'm talking about. So I utilize candle crocks and candle lamps for candles that um, I'm either done reviewing and ready to finish up. Um, or if a candle is misbehaving, if it's sooting, if it's just not burning properly, I don't know, whatever reason, whatever problem I find with a candle. <laughs> Oftentimes they either end up underneath a candle lamp or in a candle crock. The videos down below I recorded, uh, the candle crock video is now a couple of years old. It's still relevant. Um, the candle lamp video is from this year. Those two videos will explain those two um, concepts to you, the crocking and the lamping, and um, they're a really great tool to have if you are someone who is really into home fragrance because, hey, Alf, no. Um, if, you, uh, if you struggle with candles at all, or you maybe you're tired of burning candles, maybe you're concerned about the soot in your house, um, crocks and lamps are a great way to still get through a lot of your candle backlog stash or your, your stash. It'll help you get through your stash <laughs> if you're not looking to sell off or return those candles. So anyway, always check the description box down below. Also down there, I will put any discount codes. This is obviously a holiday weekend coming up here in the States with the 4th of July, and there's a lot of candle sales. Um, I know Homeworks is having a sale. I finally placed an order for a bunch of their new fall stuff, so that will be coming to me. I have a discount code with Homeworks. I will put that down below. Um, the discount is 10% off, but your order has to be $60 or more. And the candles are currently on sale for, I think it's like $18.99. So you can save an additional 10% off of that. Um, also Kringle, I'm sure, is having some amazing sales this weekend. Um, I will put my discount code for them in the description box as well, as well as a link where to shop for all of this stuff that I'm showing here. Um, so yeah, there's some good sales coming up obviously and a lot of fall things are dropping from the different companies and so I think it's, um, it's probably a good weekend to shop if you need some new candles. But I am not going to be the person that will pressure you to go buy candles because I am currently going through my collection, I am editing it. I gift a lot of candles to friends and family um, because quite frankly, I buy too much. So I try to be generous with my friends and if there's something that I've burned a couple times that I don't like or maybe I get it and I just don't like it to begin with, I will just, uh, you know, I'll just not burn it. <laughs> I'll pass it along to a girlfriend or someone else I know that I think might enjoy it. So um, yeah, it has been eye-opening to rearrange, organize, kind of take a look at my collection, and um, yeah, I'm once again overwhelmed. Um, mostly, honestly, just with my Homeworks candle collection because that exploded. Homeworks candles are available in a few different places, by the way. When you order from QVC, you always get a set of two, and that has definitely caused that particular collection to just kaboom. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if, if you are gonna shop, I, I would say be reasonable. <laughs> Don't end up like me where you're overwhelmed and just thinking like, oh, I have too much. How did we get to this point? It's very easy to get to that point. So just always keep it in the back of your mind. Um, so uh, let's get into it, guys. Uh, I am just going to grab these are going to be lightning reviews. That's the point of this video, is just to kind of tell you some final thoughts about all these candles. Um, I'm gonna go fast. I'm not necessarily talking like in-depth notes or anything like that. This is mostly just burn quality. Did I like the scent? Would I recommend it to a friend? That kind of stuff. I will save the Scentsy for last. There's quite a number of Scentsy bars here, so uh, 
I have to be efficient today. All right, I just pulled this out of my candle crock in this room here. Um, I have three candle crocks in the house, by the way. This is the chocolate banana mudslide. I reviewed this. I burned it to the halfway point. It actually did quite well, um, but I was kind of done burning it because I reviewed it. <laughs> and so I stuck it in the crock to be able to enjoy it because I really love the scent. This is a delicious chocolate banana scent. Um, the performance was decent. I would certainly pick up more, but right now uh, I'm, I'm not trying to hoard a bunch of candles. So I hope this comes back next summer because I would, I would absolutely purchase this one again. A delicious. We have Kringle Sicilian Orange. I love it. So this is a case where I burned it mostly all the way down and then the last little bit, I just stuck it in a candle crock and this one is fantastic. If you like Sicilian Tangerine or even, um, what is it, the Amalfi Lemon Mint from Nest, both are from Nest. If you like either of those fragrances, I think you're really gonna like this Sicilian Orange. It's an orange with a slight herbal note to it. It's beautiful. I love it. This is one of my favorite summertime scents from Kringle. Um, I have a few backups of this and yeah. By the way, uh, my first candle collection video was my Bath and Body Works candle collection, what I have left in that. And that's actually gonna change because I did decide to return some of the candles that I bought at SAS. Once I filmed that video and uh, watched it back, I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why did you buy multiples? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be doing that. So the multiples that I bought of the Paris Cafe cinnamon spiced vanilla and the Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake, the extras I have of those, I'm going to be taking back. Um, I will keep probably two of each and I think that that's gonna be plenty. So um, yeah, very eye-opening to do those videos. But the next video uh, that should go up is the Kringle one. And um, I promise you that one, the filming will be better. Um, I found a better way to do it. Uh, I had to use the iMovie like uh, stabilization mode on the Bath and Body Works one because I was holding the camera and that turned out awful. So I'm sorry if you sat through that video and were like, what is going on here? It's, I had to use stabilization mode and I'm not great with editing skills. So forgive me, I promise the rest of the collection videos will be a lot smoother. This is chocolate truffle, sorry, chocolate truffle, hazelnut truffle from Kringle. This is from their uh, latest reserve line drop. Uh, amazing. Definitely my favorite from the reserve line so far. Um, this is a delicious hazelnut, like chocolate scent. I love it. This I did review and then I put it into the candle crock. Um, it did amazing in the candle crock, but it did just fine burning as well. So loved it would absolutely recommend. Vanilla cone, um, I'm just gonna show you these wicks right here. So you can see these move from the center of the jar to over here. That's one of the things with the candle crock is it will loosen your wick clips on the, on the bottom. They're glued down, um, but once you heat up that glue, they can float around. And so you never light a candle that you've put into a crock. Once you're like, this is gonna live in the crock, that is where that candle goes to die you will not see the wax evaporate from a crocked or lamped candle. Um, you are left with the wax. So I clean the wax out of these and then I recycle the glass. You can make fire starters with the leftover wax. I, I don't know, I'm sure there's all sorts of projects that you can make with leftover wax. Um, I used to do that kind of stuff all the time, but I, I don't really anymore. I just don't have time. This is Spellbound from Kringle. These are their two wick jars, by the way, the soy formula. The soy formula from Kringle is amazing if you've never tried it. Such a clean, burning, beautiful, oh, I just, I love it, it's beautiful. Spellbound is a dupe of Love Spell. I love this. Obviously this one also went into the crock, you can tell because the wicks went wonky woo. So yeah, once, once you get all of the fragrance oils out of the wax, it's just gonna smell like wax. It might have a little remnant of what it smelled like before, but it will, it'll just smell like wax, which, you know, not as, not as fun. <laughs> so uh, this is Raspberry Linzer Cookie from Homeworks. This is a repackage of Vanilla Currant Biscotti. Love it. This is a great scent. I really enjoy this one. Um, yeah, and these jars are beautiful. This is another thing that I really like about Homeworks is the specialty glass jars that 
Harry does. If you missed it, I did receive one of the amazing new Lux Jumbo candles, and I filmed a video on that earlier. Was it this week? Yeah, it was earlier this week. Um, if you missed it, I'll link it down below. I've been burning it all week. You guys, that candle is burning pretty flawlessly. So I'll be updating you each week in my weekly home fragrance roundup how it's doing. It'll kind of be an ongoing project that we all do together for the next several months because it is going to take me a long time to finish that candle. Um, here we have another uh, Homeworks. This is the Apricot Nectar and Wild Berry uh, candle from, this one's from QVC. Heavenly, I love this one. Absolutely would repurchase if it comes back next year, hands down, yes. So good. Um, I purchased two of these actually from uh, Ulta. A limited amount of candles are available at Ulta from Homeworks. Um, I'll put all of the places where Homeworks candles are sold in the description box down below. But these two I purchased from Ulta. They were 15 bucks each. They were being clearanced out because these were from 2021. Um, Coastal Water Lily is a beautiful aquatic floral scent and I freaking love it. I love this scent. I hope it sticks around forever. I'm not the biggest on florals. Gourmands and fruity scents are my faves, but I will do florals and I will do fresh scents, but I'm picky. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't really love super cologne -y candles and even some really perfumey ones kind of like turn me off a little bit. So. I am more of a, if it smells like food or a drink, I, I want it. That's the person that I am when it comes to home fragrance. Um, oh, my sweet boy fell asleep. <laughs> if you can hear him snoring, I'm sorry. I find it very soothing. Hopefully you do too. Key Lime Macaron from Homeworks. This was left over from, in my collection from last year, I believe, 2021. Yep. Um, love Key Lime Macaron. If this ever comes back, would absolutely repurchase it. Very similar to the Key Lime Pie that Sonoma had out several years ago. Love this one from Bath & Body Works. Pink Watermelon. Yes. Very juicy. Very sweet. Um, kind of a mix of like a candied watermelon and a fresh water. It's oh, just... Smell it, it's so good. I think it's way better than the watermelon lemonade. I think it's delicious. All right, this blueberry pie I utilized underneath the candle lamp, so you're gonna see Wicks doing something totally different here. Um, you see how they're, <laughs> the Wicks are still there. I obviously burned this one a little bit and then put it underneath the lamp. The lamp, you do have to pour off wax. You basically melt from the top down with a candle lamp, and once you have a layer that is, of wax that is scentless, you pour that off, you stick it back under the lamp, you heat that next layer until you can't smell it anymore, and then you pour off the wax. And so this is how your candle will look after you have poured off all the wax that has been used, essentially. Um, coconut cake from Homeworks. This is delicious. It's a little heavier on the caramel than I would like, but it's also good. Harry loves him some caramel scents. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Most of the time I say caramel. Anyway, I love this one. It's delicious, but it is heavier. Um, this is almost more of like a fall type scent than it is a um, summertime scent. I know it's like a coconut candle. Here is another blueberry pie from like, this is the OG blueberry pie, I believe from 2019. Um, this one, I put it to my candle crock in my bedroom. I love blueberry pie. That and the strawberry pound cake are... I think really great for both spring and summer. Um, yeah. yeah, here's here's a strawberry pound cake. Love that too. Um, big big fan. Recommend red, white, and blue cake. Um, I like this one a lot. I would definitely purchase more. Um, it did live the last little part of its life here in the candle crock, uh, but this one does not seem to be going on sale at all. <laughs> so um, if I can get it on sale, I might pick up one more for this summer but I think I probably have plenty of Bath & Body Works to get me through the remainder of the summer. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Enchanted Peony from Homeworks. Uh, love this one. I This was my main candle that I had in my dining room during the spring months. Uh, I just finally finished it. Um, typically, I don't light a lot of candles in my dining room because I don't spend a ton of time in there, but um, it does, uh, it's, it's an amazing floral from Homeworks. Enchanted Peony is definitely one of my favorites. Very, um, very heavy on that perfumey peony note, but I love it. 
Clover Blossom from Homeworks. This one burned really, really well. I loved this scent. It had a sort of nostalgic um, aspect to it for me because when I was growing up and visiting my Oma when I was in Germany, um, she had a huge organic garden in the back of their farmhouse and a lot of these little clover things, these little clover flowers would grow there and she would have me pick them um, and you can actually eat them. Um, I, I ate them because my grandma did not use pesticides or anything like that. I don't recommend going to a park and finding these and eating them because you have no idea what they've been sprayed with. But <laughs> back in the early 80s, <laughs> I was eating my way through my grandma's uh, or my oldest garden. Um, these were something that I ate. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a German thing, but yeah, like she, she was just like, these are edible. These are an edible flower. If you want, if you find them, you can eat them. They're just kind of sweet. Anyway, the candle smells almost exactly like how the clover blossoms smell. It's delicious. Apricot cobbler. This was a repackage this year. It's still available on the Hallmarks website. This is delicious. I really love this one. Again, no, no problem with the burn. I will say in general though, these spring and summer candles from Hallmarks this year, I'm just going to warn you right now, they are lighter than they have been in previous years. This is something that I've been saying for months now. I really hope that Hallmarks has been able to get a hold of their factory and sort of course correct these issues that many of us saw over the spring and summer with the new releases. Um, I know that Harry listens to feedback, and so my hope is that they were able to catch anything and fix it for the candles that are coming for the fall and the holidays. So my fingers are crossed. Um, but it, I do want to warn you that the spring candles and the summer candles that we've seen so far from Hallmarks are lighter than they have been in the past, and that is it's, it's disappointing. I mean, there's no other way around that. So. Um, I have had similar experiences to you guys, and I'm always going to be honest about my thoughts. Uh, I do present things in a way that where I try to be constructive. Like I, I don't bash companies. Like I just I don't really think that that's effective. I think companies respond to constructive feedback um, that allows them to make some changes. But if you're just gonna like I don't know if you're gonna be mean about things or nasty, I I don't think that that really helps um the cause so i hope that these different companies watch my videos and get some feedback I, I don't you know expect them to but if i'm able to sort of help them figure out what's going on by sharing my reviews then i'm happy to do that and hopefully they're able to course correct and bring us better products in the future that's what i want i want the products to improve <laughs> flamingo beach oh i love it i love this one I have one backup that I actually have burning downstairs right now. I, I have not seen this out yet this summer from Bath & Body Works. Is it still coming? If you're a Bath & Body Works insider, will you let me know? I don't pay as much attention to Bath & Body Works uh, candles anymore because um, they've just been so troublesome for me in recent years. Um, but I have not given up on them either. I just, I, I probably never will. They're so convenient. <laughs> and they have sales. And they are, there's a store like 10 minutes from my house, so... That's easy. These I have to order online. These I have to order online. And these both come from the East Coast. <laughs> so it usually takes me like weeks longer than anyone else to ever receive any of my packages. Um, farm Sand Strawberry. Love it. This is from that Farm Sand Trio. It's still available on QVC. It is on a very, very good sale. If there is free shipping this weekend, I would recommend. You get the Farm Sand Blueberry, Farm Sand Strawberry, and Farm Sand Peach. All of them. Delicious. All right, Midnight Garden from the, uh, again, from Kringle, from their reserve line. Um, this one I burned and reviewed. Um, I burned it to about the halfway point and then stuck it in my candle crock in here earlier this month. I actually like this one better burning than I do melting. Um, I made a mistake putting it in the crock. I don't think it smelled as good in the crock. Usually, a lot of times things smell better in the candle crock than they do burning. This was like the reverse. And um, so I'm bummed because I cannot, like the wicks moved, obviously, right? So I, I can't relight this. Um, I didn't even get all the fragrance out of it. I don't know what it was. It just, it had this weird sour note when I was melting it that it did not have when it was burning. So I'm kind of mad that I ruined that candle, but 
you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Watercolors from Kringle. This is a gorgeous scent, but the performance of this is very light. Um, do know that the soy formula is being uh, currently reformulated to be able to put into the three wick jars. And let me tell you, I've been testing some of their prototypes. So good. You guys are going to be so happy with, with what is to come from Kringle. You are going to be so happy, especially if you like this type of format here with three wicks. In fact, if you like this exact same jar, <laughs> it's, it's going to be coming. And I'm very excited for them to do a three wick in this soy formula because their soy formula is the cleanest burning formula that you will ever find. Like, I do think that Mick has the market cornered on the cleanest burning soy wax that I've ever experienced. It's really, really good. Um, Lake and Sky 1111. I love this perfume, and so I tried the candle. Um, the candle is delicious, but it's a one wick, and um, I did end up putting it into a candle crock. It performed much stronger in a candle crock. Love this scent. Um... I don't know that I would say yes, go out and get this because these candles, they're kind of spendy. They're around, I think, 48 bucks for eight ounces. So um, nest prices, right? <laughs> I know most people are not willing to spend that and I get it. They're expensive. I splurge on stuff like this from time to time because I think it's fun and um, sometimes I want to try something new and um, yeah. And I do love this fragrance. If, if you're a perfume person, check out this perfume from Lake and Sky. You can find Lake and Sky at, what's that place? Ulta. Ulta sells Lake and Sky, but they also have their own website. So I'll, again, I'll link them down below. Two more candles that I finished. Both of them started their lives in the candle crock and ended their lives in the candle crocks. Tulip and Gardenia. I still owe you guys individual reviews of these. These are going to be a slightly different review for me because I've never done just a crocked review, but I thought I would test that out. So I have those set to the side. I will review those hopefully at some point here in early July. I think Tulip is still available. I don't know that Gardenia is. And this was from the Botanicals line from Kringle. All right, let's do some wax melts. This is going to be power hour here, you guys. Uh, coconut lemon chiffon. Uh, from Bring Back My Bar. It's amazing. I love it. So good. Pink Cotton smells like a uh, perfumey laundry linen scent. Beautiful. Love it. Pink Haze is similar to Aqualina's Pink Sugar. Very girly, very feminine. Um, love it. Sugared Strawberry, one of my favorites. This will go in my club at the end of this uh, catalog, the summer catalog. Um, this is heavenly. Definitely an amazing strawberry. Uh, Paradise Punch, delicious. Uh, this is like, what's that? Like the Hawaiian Punch. This smells like Hawaiian Punch. Intense, sweet, borderline cloying. So just be warned with that one. Uh, Banana Rama. This was bring back my bar from probably January, I think. Um, it was okay. Uh, with Grace. This and this uh, Dazzle. Somewhere in here is a Dazzle. It's going to be the very last one I pick up. Yep, it was. <laughs> Sorry, some of these were flipped over. Dazzle Darling. These were both a collection that came out last year. I think it was Glamorous You Collection. Does that sound right? Um, I think both of these were okay. I definitely preferred the With Grace, which has like some rose notes to it. The Dazzle Darling smells a little bit... It has some like soapy vibes to it that I did not love. It smells a little bit like Irish Spring. Um, we have more sugared strawberry. We have red, white, and berry pie. This is the scent of the month. Delicious. Highly recommend. But it doesn't smell like pie. It more smells like berries, like a berry compote. Um, Ruby Nectarine scent of the month from last month, was it? Probably last month. I don't sell Scentsy. I buy it from my bestie Lisa. If you don't have a Scentsy consultant, let me tell you, Lisa is... I love her. She's one of my best friends in the whole wide world, and I love supporting her. Um, I know many of you have told me that I should start selling Sensi. No, absolutely not. <laughs> one, I, I don't have time for another thing, and two, I just, I don't have time. I, I don't, I don't want to be responsible for anything else in my life. <laughs> responsible for so much right now, and I'm constantly getting overwhelmed with everything, so I would rather support my best friend in her business, and um, yeah. If you, um, also, if you want someone who's like in your area, if you go to the main Sensi website, you can type in your zip code and then it brings up consultants in your area. So, um, you can find one that way too, but 
Lisa's amazing. Um, vitamin R uh, from the All Is Well collection. I really like this one. Definitely, uh, it's kind of like a sandalwoody um, type scent. Like musky. It's a musky. Uh, love you very much from the Bring Back My Bar This Go Around. Nice. Mm, not club worthy. It's like a sweet floral. Uh, watermelon tangerine. Love it. It's watermelon tangerine. What's not to love? Perfect for summer. Ruby nectarine again. Uh, blackberry orange marmalade from Bring Back My Bar. Loved it. Not club worthy, but delicious. I have a couple more. I'm going to enjoy them. Uh, aloe water and cucumber, always a fave. This is my favorite bathroom scent from Scentsy. Fresh, clean, zen, spa-like fragrance. Lemon sorbet, delicious. Uh, smells like lemon sorbet. It's really good. It's not a cleaner lemon scent. It is a like fresh squeezed lemon scent. I'm talking fast because I'm sure I'm running out of time. Uh, lemon coconut chiffon again. French toast. Okay, this was my biggest flop from this Bring Back My Bar. All I smell is curry. And I tried mixing it with other cubes and it helped, but it still just smells like curry to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I, I don't know, maybe my nose changed, but I smell curry. <laughs> and other people do too. I'm not completely insane, so don't call me crazy. <laughs> Noses do change over time, um, and different people smell different things. All of our like scent receptors are different. Like no two people smell things the same way. So. Um, Sun Ripened Berry. Love it. It's in my club. Delicious. Uh, Blueberry Burst from the Pods. I, I don't ever share these with you guys. I buy these. They are amazing. I have one of those Sensi Go plug-in things and these work great in there. Um, do I think this is the best thing? The best thing from Sensi? Oh, I don't know. Not necessarily. I prefer their bars. Their bars and their warmers. That's most of what I buy from Sensi. Oh, and their laundry detergent. Uh, tangerine creamsicle, delicious. I have many. Uh, peachy and palm trees. This